Hello all you Conan XL fans out there. It's Granny Gamester back with another build with my building series. Now this build I'm going to call number four, the Frozen North build. Now this build is made with two DLCs and one base build and I'm using the Architects of the Argos, which is the Argosian set. The I Love Sipta, which is the Storm Glass set and then the Black Ice set from the base game. So I'm not using any mods, so this build can be made on any PC or console such as Xbox or PlayStation. And also these builds are designed to give you ideas on how to mix and match Conan building sets to get some really great looks. Uh, so I do not finish these um, on the inside because these are only intended to give you ideas on uh, putting together the building pieces. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to do a step-by-step -step on how to actually build this. This is just to show you how these pieces look when you put them together. So let's get started here. First off, this is the black ice reinforced crenellated wall. I just call it the crenellated fence. This is the stairs, the black ice stairs. You can't quite see them there. And then all the foundations are the black ice foundations. Now these pillars belong to the Argosian set and they go just beautiful with this because they have the blue base to them. And the black ice set has these spikes that look like chunks of ice and they have a blue hue to them because as we all know, snow is not really white. It really does have a blue cast to it. So these look really, really nice up here. So you're wondering probably how I got this pillar underneath this archway, which actually is a storm glass vaulted ceiling. And it's pretty easy, guys. You just take a stair, place it where you want the pillar to be, the top of the stair. Go ahead and place your pillar right underneath the top of the stair here. Add your second piece to your pillar and then just go ahead and remove your stair and voila, your pillar is wherever you want it. And of course, the second pillar here is in the center of this foundation piece. So it snugs right up and it works perfectly for this side of it. Yeah, works out pretty good. So again, up on the top here, I did use the black ice crenellated fence for up there. And then to add to the blue look of this, I put in these uh, witch fire standing torches. Yeah, it actually made it look really nice. I put in some braziers that had the yellow flame to them and it didn't look good at all. No, it didn't enhance this like these do. So these look really nice with this. This is the storm glass door frame as well as the storm glass door. And this is the storm glass frame. And this is from the Isle of Sipta set. And again, the Isle of Sipta is actually a map. It is an extension of the Conan Exile game. And you get this set, building set, when you buy that map. Yeah. So these are crenellated fence pieces as well. And all of these walls are the black ice walls. And again, I made these little alcoves the same as I did before. You just make a box. Oh, we got a little window on that side. Um, and then put in a ceiling tile here so that you can put a brazier or a torch here. And then up here, I used the storm glass vaulted ceiling, which gives it a nice little arch look. And then the crenellated uh, fence pieces on top of that. And then, of course, the storm glass windows. Up on top here, I used the black iced um, ceilings. And then again, all the foundations are black ice. And then these are actually the black ice wooden fence pieces. And as you can see, you get right up close to these. They look like they're ice. Yeah, very, very cool. And then on the back side, I did put some pillars in to add some more interest here. So it looks really nice with the blue flame. And then for the roof, I used the uh, tiled sloped black ice scene, uh, roof pieces. 
and then again I put the crenellated fence pieces all around the top of this roof looks really nice and this I left it flat instead of bringing it to a point because that would be a really great place to place some kind of statue up there I think yeah so I thought that would look cool and again these are the crenellated fence pieces wall pieces And that's how I finished off all the sides. And again, these pieces here are the storm glass ceiling windows. They're like a little cap. So they look really, really nice. And I did that up here as well. I just used two of them together over these two windows. So it gives the windows kind of an arched look. Really nice. So let's take a look inside. And again, I do not finish the insides. But for the inside, I did use the storm glass stairs because they're not quite so harsh as the black ice. The black ice has the big uh, ice spikes on them. So these look a little softer. This is the inside of these towers. Now you could put another floor here with stairs if you wanted to. I didn't. I just left that open. So we can go upstairs and take a peek. Nothing too, too uh, incredible. I should have used the um, storm glass ceiling pieces here but I didn't these are the black ice and they're not half as pretty as these yeah so I would use these the storm glass for the ceiling rather than the black ice because as you can see this looks a lot nicer yeah it's got a nice nice look to it now another thing you could do too is if you wanted uh, on one of the other builds that I did, I did the um, panels, the um, decorative beams. You could put those in here to add a little warm look to it with some wood in here up along those panels. That would look nice too. Yeah, there's a lot you could do with it. But again, um, in the snow area, yeah, I like this for this area. Very, very pretty. Now I will put up the sets that I used. So I used the Architects of Argos DLC. I used the Isle of Sipta map with the Storm Glass set. And then the Black Ice, which comes with the base game. And I might also add, guys, that this Black Ice build and Storm Glass are suited for cold weather. Not all building pieces are suited for the cold weather. Uh, a few that are not good, they're for heat uh, areas where the warm areas are. And that's the Reinforced Stone from the base set, the Namidian uh, DLC, the sandstone, the stone brick, the Terranian um, build, and the Yamatai build. I said that incorrectly on my last video, by the way, and I was corrected. Thank you so, so much for doing that. It's not Yamati, it's Yamatai. And those sets are all designed for the warmer areas. And if you build with those up here, you're going to have a problem staying warm. Yeah, even if you put a lot of braziers and fireplaces in your your house, you're still going to get cold because they are not insulated for the cold like this build is. Both the black ice and the uh, storm glass are designed for cold areas. Yeah, so keep that in mind. I'll remind you, I think, when I put these builds together um, if they're not suitable for cold weather. So, well, all right, guys, if you like, give me that big old like. And if you would like to see more, just subscribe. And if you hit that little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next video. All right, guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, GG out.